Hello, me and my dad just got to the clinic for my pre-op appointment. Neither one of us really know what to expect, but we're here. We're in that one. We're going, yeah, so we are here. We go that way. Oh, it says 30, 50 right there. <laughs> So um, we finished, they took my blood and I had to pee in a cup. Now we're done and we're getting food. It is the night before surgery. It's a whisper because his dad and his dad's um, best friend are sleeping. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that right now. It's the night before surgery. Like I have to go shower. I did laundry like I was supposed to clean sheets for the air mattress that we're staying on. I have to shower and then they said wait at least an hour before wiping myself down with these sage wipes, which you'll see in a minute. This is gonna be a long day. I know that. So I have to kind of like be quiet. It's like 1 a.m. now. I showered a while ago. We watched a movie. My hair looks like shit. Getting a full hysterectomy in this thing called like a oof. Early, too early. We're on the way to the hospital. Um, we didn't record anything else this morning because it's too early and none of us are awake for it, but Mika is staying with Mike. He's driving me to the hospital. He's gonna drive me back too because I can't do that. Tyler doesn't have a license. <laughs> Next time I see you, I'll be um, at the doctor's office. <laughs> scary. You ended up here because this is like one of the few hospitals that actually know my way around. Yeah, that's good. I can't wait to see what this footage has for me after I get out of the surgery. <laughs> I remember you yelling at me a lot in the car. Me? Not not like yelling, yelling, but you're like, stop talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should really just calm down a little bit. I don't think you should be talking that much, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
I'm cold. I'm nervous. You're not that cold. cold. You're just really nervous. I feel cold. <laughs> You're just shaking in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> I have these aftercare instructions, but they're the same for everybody. And it doesn't matter what surgery you're getting, so. Really? They, they just print out a bunch of these. It's just basic aftercare. <laughs> so my dad just said that he brought some waters. Tyler just wants to chug one down. It's fine, I can't drink anything until after the surgery. <laughs> he realized at like 6.30 this morning that it was 6.30 this morning and I didn't want to go downstairs to get another bottle of water, so I just waited. Oh, my grandparents are here. surgery. Um, might notice that for a couple days and they give that it kind of acts as a marker and guidelines. So I have a little bit, I have probably more water than I need so don't drink all of it if you don't need it. Okay, I missed these. We have to do the scrub that. Did you do the scrubs and the wipes at home last night? Yeah. We have to do just the stomach today. Okay. And I had looked for it earlier and I didn't see it but they stuck that order in there for me. Do you need to use the restroom at all yet? I'm tired. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it for, like, the whole time. He goes in for surgery in, like, 30 minutes. Yes. It's almost 10. My breath smells like shit. <laughs> Do you get into it? I farted. <laughs> you I farted. Oh Are you recording? <laughs> I'm sleeping hungry. <laughs> I'm joining YouTube today so you can watch me, and for me, it's gonna be like a lot of hours. For you, it's gonna be like a minute and a half, maybe. You're gonna see me all woke and livid. And I don't remember the car ride, but I know that I was happy. Mika, oh my god. <laughs> I miss Mika. She's at home. She's a baby. How old is she now? She just turned a year old last month. Oh, is that all? Mm -hmm. oh, she's just she a, she's a real baby. She's just a baby. <laughs> so we're on our way to see him. He just got out of surgery. He's in this room. <laughs> You made me so sick, I don't even know. They said that they'd given me some sort of pain med, and then my heart stopped. And then they said that they can't give me more of those pain meds, and I just have to wait until I go home. So it's too much for me. That makes sense, but like, what the fuck, Dad? Well, you can get an oral medication, but it's gonna be hard to tell you. I'm in pain, I can't do shit but give me an ice pack because I almost died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. 
Like, that's what they warned you about, right? Like, if your heart stops, you want to be back alive. I have to just, like, fucking resuscitate me. <laughs> I'm gonna be alive. I'm gonna go into this to die. I came into this to fucking try and make my life better. <laughs> Doctor says it all went well. It's just not comfortable. It's not. This is so much worse than top surgery, and I'm like more coherent. And it's like the worst part is that, like, I don't wanna be. <laughs> Rock me the fuck back out. I like that better. I made them turn the lights off and everything, cause like, I couldn't wake up. The lights would trigger me to like, start feeling like shit and then pass back out. They said I'm gonna burp a lot, but it's okay. I'm so disgusting. Well, at least you know it's coming back out. No, your heart. Um, after this blood pressure, do you want to try to get up or do you want to wait a little longer? I'll try to go pee. Okay. You're a very petite person, there's nothing to you, and they stick these instruments in there. So, well, and then the gas. And oh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to Wait, lay no, back. No, 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 no. If you need to, <laughs> draw your knees uh, upward, not uh, Indian style, but just upward. Okay, uh, 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 take deep breaths, uh, long deep breaths. It's okay, it's okay. Nice, long deep breaths. Uh, 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 okay. uh, no, probably not. I think you're Yep. Roll, so roll to, yep, roll to your mom. Your whole body. There I need my arm. No, your arm can't go too. No, I need I'm stuck. No, you're, oh, you're, you're good. good. I'm trying to rest, baby. It's okay. Alright, there you go. Now, so, if you want, you can draw your legs up toward you. Oh, oh, I just as much as I can go. Okay. Right. Yeah, you don't, I mean, it's just positioning how it's comfortable for you. That was so cold. Is there blankets? Yeah, and you want them right here. Uh, that was the warm blanket we brought in earlier. Oh, feel very good, mommy. No, baby. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna put this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just start shaking. You know, it's making it worse. This is that warm air again. I don't like that right now, mommy. You don't like it? You don't like it? I was rubbing it. Oh. Yeah, that's Trying a natural to, instinct. <laughs> Try to relax them anyway. Alright, so I'm going to go hopefully get this uh, stuff together. The pharmacy has approved it. Mm -hmm. Get that home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that heating? Yeah. Yeah. You need that? If you want me to go or any of us, we can. Okay. I know your grandparents are waiting to see you. Yeah. Where are you going? I'll 
hoping that your grandparents come in here briefly. Okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> We made it this far. Oh. I'm proud of you. Everybody is. I'm planning to do it. No more stressing about it. No worrying. <coughs> Just recovering. We're done. Yeah. It's over. Just try to relax. Go back to bed. You're still young. I'd say you're baby. He's my baby. Yeah, they don't like it at that age. I'm not a baby. <laughs> I'm not a baby. I live with my own mom. I know, but you're still my baby. Okay. Any um, Anytime you need mom. I think this is going to be so rough. The recovery at that is going to be like Well, easier. that's, you know, and I mean, it's... It's kind of a moot point at this at this stage, but I hopefully they you know discussed with you what to expect, and you know you're gonna have restrictions on nothing greater than ten pounds for six weeks in terms of lifting. Do you work? No. This is their work. <laughs> So Justin just woke up and he has to go pee. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a dead sleep, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I can feel it slowly just like working its way down my bladder. It's from all of those hey, do you have anything on your legs, sugar like walkers. Any, mm -hmm. Those things? Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of tie this like here. So if you just want to take your legs and sit on the edge of the bed. Oh my god, that's a piece of bad. We're working on it. Do you feel dizzy at all? We've got to go pee. Okay, so. when should you just... Oh, well, those we need out because we don't want to do this with the anesthesiologist and the revolver that. Okay. 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 Okay.
so we're just gonna keep that pulse oximeter on for now and let's get you warmed back up. We can go over the discharge instructions. The only, they only keep uh, prescriptions for it, just to make sure you get the right ones. There's two of them, uh, both for pain. Mm -hmm. And is that all he needs is just for the pain meds? Yeah, usually, yeah, because usually they get IV antibiotics okay, further just, back there. Just making sure, like his last surgery, they sent me home with antibiotics and stuff too. So just want to make sure. Yeah, no, usually for this, they do the IV antibiotic and back. And then okay, so, so all he needs is just the pain meds. Then. Pain management, yeah. Okay, okay well, let's see. We're going to kick this up a little bit here. Maximum. And we'll turn you into a burrito for any instructions. <laughs> yeah, his heart rate is going up a bit. Yeah, sometimes it just takes getting up and walking. That's good. <laughs> he looks like he just got out of church. Also, like any urinary retention. Um, so, if he's drinking a lot of fluids and not urinating, more than eight hours has gone by without urinating, um, definitely, you know, come into urgent care or um, reach out to the office here. Just because of the medications we've given, sometimes urinary uh, urinary retention can be like a side effect of um, the medications that we've given. Justin. Are you, are you listening? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is why we have support people come so that we can kind of be the be the memory. I'm recording it for him too. So okay. Okay. Um, so the prescriptions that they are sending you home with are the um, oxycodone and ibuprofen. And the oxycodone, uh, he can have one to two tablets by mouth every four hours as needed for pain. And then the ibuprofen is the 600 milligram one, so that can be one tablet by mouth every six hours as needed. And then you can have them both at the same time. Sometimes it's or nice. Or you kind of stagger some, them. It's sometimes it's nice to stagger them because that way he's always got something available for pain, so you can rotate them. Like some people will manage their pain just strictly with Tylenol and ibuprofen and take it every three hours. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing in that oxycodone that that you can't take them together or okay. stagger them. So, because sometimes the narcotics also have Tylenol in it, this oxycodone doesn't. So, the other thing with um, the oxycodone and the sedation that we've given is that constipation can be a side effect. So, taking like a stool softener or a laxative is, is advised. Um, also, nausea can be a side effect. So, going back to like clear liquids, if, if he's having any nausea, go back to ginger ale. Sprite, soup broth, saltine crackers, things that are going to be like easy on the stomach. Okay. Um, as far as pain control as well, icing the incisions will help. 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off is usually suggested. You don't want to put the ice directly on the skin, but like a pillowcase or like a towel in between it. Um, 
can change the bandages daily or as needed. Um, they don't want any like lotions, creams, powders, or hydrogen peroxides on the incisions. They also don't want, it's okay to shower, but not soaking in like a bathtub. So no swimming pools, hot tubs, ocean water, not until those are fully healed, okay? And it's okay to shower in 24 hours. So not tonight, but tomorrow would be okay. And then as far as activity restrictions, they don't want um, him lifting anything, anything more than 20 pounds for six weeks. Also no driving a vehicle on that oxycodone because that'll impair judgment as well. Um, they definitely want him to drink plenty of fluids in the next um, 24 hours. That'll help kind of flush all the sedation out of the system. Dizziness and drowsiness can be expected for the next 24 hours. The, I like to call this a, the compazine nap. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful at managing nausea, but kind of how it works is it makes people sleep. So that's pretty normal. Um, they also don't want anything in the vaginal canal um, for up to six weeks after surgery. And let's see here. We talked about... Do you guys have any questions so far? No? Okay. I think that pretty much covered everything. We talked about when to call the doctor. We called it, or talked about activity restrictions, side effects of the medications, pain control, and wound care. So I think we kind of covered everything there in the aftercare instructions as long as you guys don't have any questions. I think we're good. Okay. I'm just going to reach out to the anesthesiologist because he's kind of been up at times and he's been down at times. So I'm just going to reach out and make sure that, you know, it's okay to discharge, okay? Yeah. I'm given, this is cold and everything yeah, given his age and lack of cardiac condition, because this is probably solely just the sedation doing this. So I, he wasn't too high to begin with. You know, he was just in the 70s before. It's time to go home. Yeah. And this composite will probably do this for most of the night. Can I take the ice pack with it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. See if we can get it to his dad right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got a backpack. Yeah, he's got the backpack. It's just the ice pack. You can read the little oh, ice okay. and use it at home if you want. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Just keep your eyes up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't need to yet once the IV comes out, though. Uh, oh, if I pee again. Then we go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one feels weird. <laughs> what? I'm just going to hold pressure on this for a second, okay? Okay. Bandage can come up in about 20 minutes. Okay. And we'll detail everything so it's easier to get out and get dressed. Oh no, my stuck. You're stuck? Mm -hmm. Oh, my stuff. Oh, my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that he said I'm stuck. I thought I heard that too. Mm -hmm. It's like I wonder why. Yeah. Look at you. I'm stuck. Stuff. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I'm still sweating. <laughs> He's buried. My <laughs> pee. Did he do that or did someone else do that? <laughs> He's gonna end up on YouTube or something. <laughs> A pee. Do you want to pee again? Do you want to do it before or after you change? Can I do it at the same time? Yeah. 
Well, not the same I'm, time. I'm, I'm from the halfway. <laughs> well, I mean, we can walk you there. Okay. If you're feeling unsteady. Let's go pee. Okay. <laughs> you first, then get dressed. So he's all clothed. Now we're gonna clean up, and then we're ready to go. That's where the IV was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want one of your crackers now? No, but can you hold this little bag? Of course. Alrighty, I'm gonna go get a wheelchair. And like I said, we'll just give them enough time to get the car and we'll, we'll wheel you down, okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. Your thank Uber you. will be here shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. You fucking did it. You fucking did it. Oh my god, you're fucking bleeding. What? Your hands. Is that new? Blood? Fresh? I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> Ready to go, okay? Okay. Thank you. I forgot we were on the second floor. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I can probably point it out, but I'm not 100,000. <laughs> Should I call him? No, I think they did that already. They probably just haven't. Oh, over there. I can't see anything, baby. Is the sun too bright? And I don't have my glasses on. Your dad has them for you, it's okay. You ready? Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want me to open the door for you? Fun time staying at the hospital. Oh, it was fun. We always have fun at the hospital. Uh, I, I've stayed here for longer periods of time than that. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's for you, it's okay. I'm just happy as well. Okay. home 
Mika's happy we're back from the 10 hour hospital. Justin is sleeping. He's been sleeping pretty much ever since he got done with surgery. Justin's dad, David, is gonna get me and him and his girlfriend some food. So Pam and Bella, and Bella's her dog, <laughs> but they gave us this nice little Great Western box, lots of candy and food, so hopefully I can talk about gift card. Eat some and hold it down. <laughs> Hello everybody, so it's the next day. Um, I slept pretty much all day yesterday. I woke up kind of early, but I feel better today. I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out every 20 seconds. I'm a little sore that I can still feel gas. They like pumped me full of gas or some shit. And um, yeah, they said that that's why I have pain in my shoulders and maybe my chest and I just have to burp it out. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I still haven't been able to keep a lot of food down. They had like this patch thing behind my ear that made my mouth really dry. And I feel like that could have been why. So now I've been drinking a lot of water. Okay, it's time to change the bandages. <laughs> How many times do you have to do this a day? It's once a day, but I've been sweating a lot today and these ones are falling off and I'm going out to a little barbecue at my brother's. So I want to make sure that I don't sweat them off. So I'm going to change them. I have yet to seen so these. these. I have one incision here, one here, and one actually in my belly button. Do you need me? No, I do. I don't need anything. There's one. Okay. Stomach sank a little. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's bruised up a little bit, but it's all internal stitching. So there shouldn't be much of any scarring. This one was a little more sore and I have... Yeah. Oh, the gauze came out. Fuck yeah. There was a piece of gauze stuck in my wound on this side before. Oh God, the one before. Right here so it is. Sad. So this was stuck for the last couple of days and it just came out. Cool. And the belly button one does look a little grosser than the other ones, but it uh, doesn't scary. Mean it. It's just some dried blood. Oh, my so. baby. Oh, there they are. That was it. She wants to kiss me. The right side. The left side and the belly button. Ouch. Baby, you're a warrior. <laughs> I'll just use a band aid for now. Um, I use the big band aids, so obviously. These, this is the last waterproof one that we have. I figured I should use it because I'm sweating a whole lot. I'm gonna put this one on my belly button. Oh. That's so sad. No. <sighs> She's just sniffing, I think. You're sweating so much. Fuck, I'm literally sweating looking at you. I'm gonna do a little stick right here and up this way. This way, I think, is what's making me sweat here. Probably it's hot in here. I'm dying. Last one right here. Alright, I need help. Just okay. Hold. This side's a lot lower down, so. Put a little bit of this tape. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Let me 
I need to get out, sorry. It's okay. 